Welcome back, guys, to more Honor Bound Redemption of the New Guard. So, uh, where we last left off, our party was half swept down a river, two thirds swept down the the creek into the yes. entranceway, while and I took barely a puny managed amount to escape. Of damage. Puny amount of damage. Uh, anyway, guys, so you you are the entrance, and uh, Mutton is in that passage he saw. So, how are you gonna go about doing this? I mean, First off, it's not we... mutton. Mutton is the type, is, you know, something you eat. I'm mutton. Mutton. Okay? Mutton. Mutton. Bumbo toes. Uh, oh, so I guess you take, say... take it turn by turn? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna say going to say Bumbo first. toes goes first. Yeah. So what do you do, Bumbo toes? Um, I'm going to Six, stick tight in my little five, area, um, wait for the water to recede, and wait half an hour for my friends to show back up. Okay, so let's go to the others. All go right, guys. I'm gonna. Am I like? Are we like thrown flat on our asses, or are we just washed back to the you entrance? You are. You are thrown flat on your asses at the okay. entrance. Is the water level higher, or did it? Was it just like a single torrent that? It, it was a us? single surge that just okay, rushed so, past. So I will take half my. I will move dash. So I'll spend half my move standing up. Move half my move. Move another move. So I move forty five feet back into the cave. Okay, you're close to where you were before, just like about 10 feet, I guess, from where you were before. Yeah, okay. So I see. Okay, and Dwarf, what do you do? I'll do the same thing, uh, but let's see. I guess I only move like 37 feet instead of 45, because I'm slower. Okay, uh, Bumbo Toes, you hear your friends rushing. Or, I mean, you hear somebody coming inside of the cave from the entrance so you could possibly say that they based were on the loud so, clanging of chain yeah. mail you, <laughs> probably only two two people it could be okay uh, I wait for them to show up okay uh, got another couple of seconds you guys still move on don't you yeah yeah so we you do, yeah. you do show up they do show up uh, in your vision range okay I can you and whistle to them and wave them wave at them all right. So, how deep is the river? Um, here is a. It's a not that big. It seems like outside it it it's deeper than in the inside. So it's about four feet here. Yeah, I I just wade across it to where the halfling is. Okay. So we're uh, over to here. Or so. Mhm. Mm yeah. And we so the do party. you do you enter do you enter that part there? That's where he's standing, waiting for us, isn't it? Yeah, he's standing inside of it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um. Again, what? What are you human? Okay. Let's see. So, basically, what happens when you want to go inside is that the halfling was not that big, like not that um, hard. Heavy. So the wedge, the wedge was a bit uneven, but didn't react to him. Now, when you come in with the uh, with the halfling there as well, I thought it this was like a passageway. Yeah, the the passageway it starts to shake to shake a bit because like the the rubble that's down uh, doesn't it's not it's a difficult terrain. Okay. So we're like standing okay. on rocks and boulders. Yeah, basically, and I want both of you to do me a DC ten dexterity check. You don't tell us. So the DC let's see if you make general, it. I just yeah, I just gave it to you because you should pass this dexterity. Oh. I statistically I shouldn't, you but I did. Yeah. <laughs> The dwarf, dwarf, you don't, dwarf, you're, you're not still there. on the other side of the river. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like when he steps on it, um, and I want it from Bumbatoes as well. You want me to do a dex check? I just yeah, because ruined you're there your as well. stable, stable ground. Yeah, yeah he fair. just ruined it. Okay. Apparently, rocks uh, dex move saving throw or dex check? Saving throw. Okay. Saving throw. Fourteen. Okay, you're okay. So you managed to stand stand your ground. Um, in this little passage, so you can feel free to do whatever you want from now. So, no saving throws. Is the, throw is the for ground permanently uneven? Like, if the dwarf comes over, does he have to make a saving throw as well? Uh, no, it's just counted as difficult to rain now. Like the uh, the rocks that were uneven just fell right now, okay. and you need the dexterity check to see if you fall with them or not. Uh, right. So well, we were not crushed by the rocks. You are not crushed by the rocks. No, you're completely awesome. okay. And the dwarf does thinking, not need to do any save. Yeah. I'm thinking that this passageway leads up to the second level. So perhaps we should continue on the side passage. 
Is there another fork here? Um, no, do you see um, the map? I can. I'm looking at the map. So yeah, we're so, on the side passage, which we didn't go up before. We went up. Oh, the river, I see. I see. And it flooded us down. But I'm saying while we're here, we might as well. Might as well investigate. Okay. Same marking okay. order as before. So, yeah, I'll go first. Priest behind. You want to roll us bumble toes in the rear? Do we want to roll a check to see if we can like move quietly? I haven't rolled a stealth check this campaign. I'm not sure if I feel like it, but I can. <laughs> I'll pretend. So if I roll a stealth check, statistically, it's just garbage, and yeah. I move at half movement rate. Forget it. It's fine. Yeah, because I've got so minus just, one just and it's disadvantage. And you Are get we... mine. One second. Go. Go ahead. Go no, it's fine. Uh, uh, saying that you get to another fork here um, you the passage opens up to the left and to the right I'm not drawing like this exactly but still it's like a T intersection yeah it's a T intersection you see nothing you hear nothing from here at least where would you decide to go left or right well right's kind of the same direction as the waterfall so why don't we go left Yeah, let's go left. Okay. Uh, you go left for a bit, and there is a big room opening up here with a second story as well. So you can see this. That's actually a very bad rattle, but still. And there's a large cave is divided by half by a 10-foot-high escapement. The steep natural staircase leads up from the lower portion uh, to the upper edge. The air is hazy with the smoke of a cooking fire and the pungent from the smell of purely crude hides and unwashed goblins. And you will need to do me... What's your uh, passive perception again? 13. 13. 13. The one in front. as well. Yeah. Okay, do me, a, do me a perception check. Yeah, do me a perception check. So passive perception oh, is what you roll when you're like have played. No, you just passive, but you're not passive, but you are you are investigated, I'm guess. I'm guessing yeah, you so are. So then passive at. perception doesn't even come into play, does it? Yep. No, it doesn't. I will, uh, because if you have a passive uh, that's bigger than what they rolled, you just auto see them. Okay. But that doesn't make any sense. Sometimes it's better to use passive I think passive perception is if you have ten minutes to perceive. Anyways. No, no, no. Passive 16. is just passive. I think passive uh, is like low okay. stress situations. Yeah, exactly. You're not, you're not actively looking around. Mm, but sometimes I'm not it's worse to sure roll. about it. But I'm, I'm taking it as a uh, basically your base stat. So in, if anybody goes below this passive thing on their hide, you just auto see them. That's what, how I understood it at least. We can check it in the later. I don't think that's quite yeah, how it works. Yeah, we can check it later. It's 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 okay now. So you 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 actually see the goblins. There's about six goblins here, um, each to each side of uh, like hiding over here basically, and they were waiting for you. It seems like you you caught them before they could. And there's like a little cooking fire over here and a little tent over here that they uh, waited behind. So there were six of them looking at you right now. I mean, so they were looking at me. See them before. Yeah. We make eye contact. So, uh, yeah, you make Oof. eye contact, All and right. the combat starts. Uh, I shout, up. goblins, let battle be joined. Uh, for I passive perception over. checks, by the way, it's just, if you're hiding, uh, you roll your hide against someone's oh, passive. Oh, God. It's what they're doing at all points in time. They don't, they don't have to take ten minutes, it's just what, what they do, normally. Yeah, okay. So if you roll a perception check, you can roll lower than your passive, which is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, that's why I yep. thought passive was if you take your turn. Well, I don't know. Well, it's yeah, it, it's kind of it's right kind of now. Funky. Wait, right, initiative so, be old. So yeah. there's six goblins and we're charging into them. Six goblins. Uh, it you can do whatever you want, but we have to roll initiative because we both spotted each other. And I rolled six. a zero. You rolled a zero. Guess who? What? Guess who is gonna guess be who goes first? Last? <laughs> guess who? Guess who's gonna be first? Not you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the goblins shit. might actually go first. Shit! No, no, no. The, the goblins roll the five. No. Fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, these these rolls are bad. These the the dice that came with the starter set are not liking me at all. They're not liking me. Fine, Rick. Sixteen. You go first, which is 
Wait, hold on a second. Convenient. No, I rolled a zero. The sixteen yeah. was oh, my. Oh, you rolled a zero. Yeah. Shit. Perception. Shit. Why did you say that? Uh, yeah. Peter. I think Peter goes first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Peter does go first. Go. Are we? Are we really gonna fight all six of these guys? What are you doing? All right. All right. All the right. First I'll, move. I will charge the nearest one and hit him with my warhammer. This is a bad idea. Why are we doing this? You can. I mean, you're the first die. to move. You can do whatever you'd like. Yeah, yeah, but I know you're not gonna run. <laughs> I assume that. I assume that hits. Okay, as you, as you walking side. By the way, just like a side note, around here, you see a human in chains. I am gonna call a stick man. That mm. is very badly drawn, but still, you see a human in chains. He seems to be badly wounded, and he does not have any armor or weapons on him. Okay, so you owe the 15. Let's see if that is enough and that is exactly enough. Roll your damage. Nice. Max nice. You, you just go in front and you like, Goblins are... Boom. You took my cousin. And you just kill. You just destroy one of them. Is he dead? Yeah, he is, he's completely dead. Ah, yes. Okay. I like 5 to 3 is much better than 6 to 3. I feel better about this. Oh. That's my turn. <laughs> um, is it's your turn. And Peter it's... standing next to any other goblins? Like maybe he came up to two that were near to each other? No, is no, he's standing. Be... Like there was four of them were waiting basically in a line for you to, to get inside. They weren't expecting for you to see them. And two of them are kind up of weapons in online. the middle of the room. Uh, not necessarily. Like you see the map. That's basically how they are. He went to the nearest goblin, that means this one, and killed it. Yeah, so I should be within five feet of the other one, though. Yeah, basically he's five feet, so you could do it. Sweet, then yeah, I go up to the it. one that he's within five feet of, and I make my my attack with my short sword. God, my uh -huh. short sword attacks are so bad. And then with my scimitar, oh my god. No, no, no way, no way. This goblin is <laughs> way out of your week. He's dodging your, your bros skillfully. And now it's the goblin's turn. So we have... <laughs> we have uh, two goblins attacking uh, Mutton, like one in front of him and one to his side, and one attacking um, Peter, and the other two are going to just go and attack the warrior. So let's see about Mutton first. How many are Shit, attacking that's me? Six and one, two of them. Two. He'd both, both miss you. Both miss you. Then we have Peter. What's your AC, uh, Peter, again? 18. 18. Oh, they miss. God damn it. And the rest on the warrior. Let's see if we get right with these. AC 17. It's a miss. Just one. One hit. One hit. Yeah. One hit. Good. Let's see. You take. Scimitar. Three points of damage. Alrighty. Only three points. Ah. Guys, that? guys. That's th that TPK is, is going further and further. Hmm. Please. <laughs> I'm hoping we won't TPK. I don't think we will. I think we're smarter than the average bear than JP's crew, but we'll see. Oh god, don't even remind that's, me. That's 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 <laughs> funny because Neil was there. <laughs> yeah, I think we're smarter than Neil. Well, <laughs> Justin and I bring the IQ out. Okay, a let's bit. not set the bar too high. Let, let's <laughs> let me put it this way: I was playing the cleric last time, and my the rest of my party was cowards and fools. Right. They sent the Meaning, the burdened dwarf to go scout yeah, alone. Right? The dwarf to scout alone? Mm-hmm. That's the dumbest shit Because the thief of. didn't want to climb something. So they're like, well, dwarf, you in that heavy armor, go climb. Go sneak up this long passageway. All right. So I'm going to attack one of the died. guys that was attacking me. Critical That's hit! A critical Our hit. first critical. Not that I need go. to roll, but... Go, Flynwick. No, but I'm going to... How do you want to kill this goblin? Um, Let me roll for damage first, and then I'll decide... Okay. In theory, he could still like not fourteen. Kill him. Not so that's dude. that's a reasonably average critical with my great axe. Yeah, but I just so come down on I come down on top of his head and I make it like I cleave his skull in two and make it like two thirds of the way through his rib cage so before my basic. axe gets stuck and then I just foot in his chest and wrench it free. Do so I recognize? So yeah. Go on. Well, it doesn't. Yeah. Um, I was going to ask also on my turn if I recognize the. Man chained to the wall as Sildar Hallwinter. Yes, you do recognize the man as Sildar Hallwinter. Oh it's pretty God. hard because 
because his face like is bloody and beaten. He doesn't seem to be in any state, any good state. Uh, okay. He's barely looking at his wife, but he, he is so the hard winter. Okay. Good to know. Next round of combat. Peter, get him. Okay. Uh, next round of combat. Peter, go. I miss. You oh. miss completely. And now we have Mamados. All right. Can I get um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Fenric is still within five feet of another target, right? Yeah, there yeah, is I have two guys standing but next to me. You Perfect. Are, or one are, guy standing next to me. No, no, no. You are in the threat square of two goblins, so if you go there, you yeah, but take so a disengage. The guy that I'm still facing is uh, either Justin or Ryan is next to him. Yeah. Yeah, uh, cool. Yeah, because Justin was facing yeah. this guy earlier and missed, so he's Yeah, clearly... but still, there are two of them are attacking you, one from your side. Like, the one in front... No, uh, yes, the guy in my front. Just... Yeah, the one that Justin was attacking. This is where there are okay. advantages to using tokens and grids. Yeah, but I can kind of get it in my <laughs> yeah. mind. Yeah. yeah. Well, you think yeah, about I, it? I, we, we came in, we killed one, and then the other 22. three like, came arced around us. 22. I, I I'm going to take my it. extra damage on this. It's going to be 2d6 plus 3 to this goblin. Nice. 8. That's 8. You killed this guy. Yes. Okay. Drops to um, I still have my offhand weapon. Yeah, I used to have your offhand weapon. Go. I was just talking. Three at the next one. Twenty-one. That's a hit again. Go. No damage bonus on this, unfortunately. No. Um, but I'll roll four damage. So, yep. Yeah. Um, you see another figure coming down from the steps, uh, dragging Sirdar Harwinter out of his chains and up these, uh, up these steep um, um, stairs. And he says to you, "Stop the fighting, or this human dies." Who and says he kind this? Kind of to push him. Um, let me see. I think it's a one. One second. Is it just some goblin that's in this area, or is he? He's someone that we haven't seen before. It seem. It seems to be a, a bigger goblin than than so the others. Just a a big goblin. So there's yeah, stairs big, in the back goblin. of the room, and he's coming down yeah. the stairs. No, no, yeah, he, he came stairs there. down there. He yeah. got Sirdar, and he's basically just like above uh, above this crevice, and he's saying, "Stop the fighting, or I kill the human." Is he standing next to Sildar? No, no, he just got Sildar, and like, I'm gonna. What do you mean he got him? He's, Sildar's chained to the wall. Yeah, but he basically he has the key, so he opens. Is this guy's In six thing. seconds, he goes down a ladder, unlocks the key, throws Sildur over his he shoulder, was... and then goes back up the ladder? Yep. In six seconds. In six seconds, that can actually be them. He's the Flash. It's the only possible explanation. <laughs> Is the Flash. I would no, like you to unlock your door successfully the first time within six seconds on the front door of your house that you go in every day. You're yeah. not going to do it. I think Much to less unlock is a single action, isn't it? Like to interact with an object? Um, yep. Let's, Use an object. He, he yeah, he that, is an listed, object, list, that is listed under the action. As an action. Yeah, but he, he, he breaks up his movement. So yeah, he, he breaks his movement, his movement, he gets so to he the chains, move, and then he an moves object away. To unlock, and then he can move away. He cannot pick up the dude and he can't walk away. Well, yeah, you, 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 you do have a point with that. So but I'm going to make it like this then. He is, he is just going at Sodar, pointing a scimitar at his neck, and saying... Well, Stop that's another fire. action. Like, His one thing. action is to unlock the the locks. He can't. He doesn't can't point a scimitar. Six so seconds. Does he unlock him or does that's, he not? You cannot. Uh, no, he doesn't lock him. He like that. I'm. I'm not. I'm not uh, retconning uh, his actions. All right. Like, so he, he unlocks him, unlock him and then doesn't have, have enough moves to get a scimitar. scimitar to him. But out of character, we know that he cannot have a held action. He can't attack Sildar. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So mechanically, he can't attack Sildar. So, right. are you next guys doing round. that? Uh, next round would be... No, actually, um, it's still the goblins. The goblins that are still there. Oh, yeah, it's goblin. So, he moves on goblin turn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he moves on goblin. Uh, these three... But the goblins are going to stop attacking us because he just gave them an order to stop attacking. Exactly. Uh, these four take a disengage action, all of them, and they kind of move in a semicircle around, uh, around the front of him. And by four, don't you mean three? Uh, no, yeah, for you, you did kill one. There's three, I killed one. Kill one. Yeah, they move in kind of a semicircle around him, and they okay. just stand. 
Thank goodness for low initiative, because I go after the goblins. Just check exactly. you know his headphones on. I still have my headphones on. Go. Okay, so I am going to move around that way. So I provoke one attack of opportunity. And I'm going to make an uh, attack yep. against the large goblin. You may not even make an attack of opportunity. If he is 10 feet away from his buddy, you can stay within his 5 foot radius without leaving it and not actually provoking an attack uh, of opportunity. He is, they are like about 10 feet from uh, the, the bigger goblin. Yeah, see, so you don't even so have to provoke to an attack more. of opportunity. Wait, but Just I have to go charge. around between him he, and the wall. He needs to go around between him and the wall. He's still moving through his threatened squares. Yeah, but he yeah. doesn't leave the threatening square. Leaving the threatening square is what provokes an attack of opportunity. That's true. I mean, it's, it's true. The um, question is if there's 10 feet between. I'm going to say that you do take an attack of opportunity if you want to do this. So, I mean, that's what I was assuming. But, yeah, so there's, yeah, there's saying, 10 feet I'm between saying, him and his it. friend. Yeah, so roll the attack of opportunity and then I'm going to attack the big goblin. You make okay. an attack of opportunity when a hostile creature that you can see moves out of your reach. So if Brian ten, doesn't move out of his reach. Ten feet, but that means there's more than 10 feet between him and the big goblin. Oh, okay. If there's more than 10 feet, then you have to right. move out it's of his reach. It's 11 feet, okay? <laughs> AC 17. Does he hit? Back AC, AC 17. Uh, he does hit an 18. That he has a damage on you. The impacts. Yes. Look at that uh, cheating. He does 4 damage. Okay. All on you. Alright, so I'm going okay. to make an attack against the big goblin. And I will tell to his goblin friends to lay down their arms or your leader dies. So you do As so you make your attack. Okay, yeah. go. Two, critical! Two criticals in a row. <laughs> oh, fucking <laughs> hell. Fenwick! Fenwick! <laughs> chop his head off! <laughs> oh! oh! 19 damage. I guess the threat was... God damn it. The threat God was an empty threat, because he was dying either way. Yeah, you just... Well, you could you could declare non-lethal. No, I'm not declaring non-lethal. <laughs> I shout, no, throw down you your arms or your leader dies. <laughs> so is that a kill? He, like, Georgia does... Poof, like, the, you ask this as his head rolls around, like, near Heads your feet. Roll. Heads and will roll. I'm going to use my bonus action to heal myself. Okay, do it. For nine, more. Than, I had eight. I was eight down, but nice again. So I behead him and turn to the goblins. I can roll an intimidate check if you need. Exactly. I yeah, do an intimidate check. Actually, I'm not even. I'm not that impressive, am I? Stop selling you, yourself I'm gonna short, Ryan. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you an advantage on this. Yeah. You, oh, you really? Yeah, I'm going to give you an advantage on this. Oh! oh! <laughs> What's with the 20s? <laughs> Alright, lay down your arms or you all lose your heads. They're like, don't kill us! Don't, don't kill us! And they throw the weapons. They actually like, throw them. They don't break them down. Alright. Comrades, and, uh, you guys gone? go. It's, it's Neil's turn. Or maybe, it's, I think it's actually... It's my turn. Uh, Justin's. Yeah, it's Justin's turn. Um... I gotta look up the initiatives we rolled ages ago. I, do we, I don't know if we need turns, strictly speaking, anymore. No. We, I guess we don't want them to bolt. So, I'll like, we can like herd them in together. One of us can stand guard, and one of us can figure out how to get the chains unlocked so we can chain them up. Yeah, I you go and I, I, them for us. I drag all their weapons away and throw them in um, the southeast corner of the room. Okay. Um,. Yeah. Okay, so what what else are you doing with these goblins? Are you just wedding them with? Uh, I, you know, hold them at sword point and make them kneel on the ground and huddle together in a, a circle with all their heads facing each other. You know, prone okay. position, hands behind the hands on top of the head. Um, oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, we totally put them in police lockdown mode. Uh, interlocking their fingers above their back of their heads facing the ground and locking their ankles behind their butts. Yeah, I did security for, like, a city, so... Yeah. Just... Relevant background. Okay, I would actually so do that. beat them oh, senseless. Okay, you you can you can do that. And at this point, Sildar kind of like raises himself from the ground, wearily, and says, "Thank I you." Can. And he looks at he looks at you and recognizes the dwarf and says, "A dwarf? Thank, I'm thank offended. You. He's on my character sheet." <laughs> it's 
suit. Are you, are you, All right, yeah, he he, he organizes with, work. He was with my cousin. <laughs> Calm down. He says, thank you, thank you, Peter. This I, I wouldn't have survived if it wasn't for you. Thank you all. Uh, he says, can you... Um, do your healing powers, do you still have them? I'm, I'm yeah. a little tapped out. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry You're about it. Such it a greedy just... bitch. We just saved you, and the first thing you can do is ask for more? Seriously, a little <laughs> bit of gratitude would be nice, buddy. He kind of like wants to make a point, and then uh, and he kind of sits on his ass and say, there are more. Uh, this this was one of the minor goblin we did. There's, there's a bugbear up in the north of the cave. With some more goblins. <coughs> Those who are counting, I think there's at least 12 more goblins in here. <laughs> but we took six out, so there should be... So we took out seven, yeah. So 12 and, and a leader. Plus the minor leader, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, do we kill the other three now that we're done? I give you like a slow nod and start to walk over towards them. Yeah. yeah Thank so you. So we each approach a goblin. From behind. <laughs> And just oh, murder. <laughs> there you go. Dispatch them simultaneously so they don't scream or give any warning. Yeah, it's kind of like a everyone just nods at the same time and you know make short work of them. All right. He said, uh, and uh, before you do, like after you kill these guys, he says, <clears throat> more of the goblin is left with Ganjun and 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 the other dwarves. This this morning, there should be about five or six more remaining. I I, I wish I could help you. But the other I dwarves. Can't. Uh, yeah, other the lock seeker. Yeah, there were three of them. You have three cousins, the lock seeker brothers. Whoa! Gungeon, all of my Garden cousins have been Angel. kidnapped. I thought one of my cousins had been kidnapped. <laughs> you yeah, that's you. You thought that, but now you know something else. Oh my god, my cousins. <laughs> well. So, the, so the, the dwarves were all taken with a couple of goblins. So there's only like five left. So they so left, they're, right? And they're gone. Yeah, and and a big and a big guy. So there's five. I haven't there's seen five this goblins race. and a bugbear left. Wait a minute! That guy at the door was totally telling me the truth because I rolled a twenty on my. Uh, yeah, there's, there's insight total. check, and there's he said there were total. twenty left. Is he just a terrible guard who can't keep track of who comes and goes? Yeah, there's twenty he left. Said, but he six said that was twenty. But six of them left to escort the dwarves. Yeah, but he would have seen them leave. Maybe he was off duty. Come on, this is not that big of a cave. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he should have seen inside. you since you escaped, like went out of the woods. Maybe there's a back I mean, exit. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was just sleeping. Hmm. Who knows? Stupid goblin. Can't trust him. Anyway, so Sildar, you can't fight. You're. What if we like you know? You could fight if we healed him. Yeah, why don't we leave the cave? We can go back to the cart. Yeah, we should go back to the, to the cart, cart if we need. Get some provisions. Check on the oxen. Rest up for the day. Well, it sounds like there's no. Okay, sorry. What does Silver say? Uh, he says, "They always the waterfall. They know you're coming. They'll be coming for you one way or another. I, I suggest once you get out of here, get ready." Thank so you very like much, there's... but we are the ones doing the rescue party here. You're the guy that got <laughs> locked up. You should hardly be giving us orders. Is his armor and sword around? Like, can we give him his stuff back at least? Uh, no, he says he tells you that his, armors and, his armor and sword and every other piece of valuable gear he had was taken from him uh, with the dwarf. Mm. Uh, okay. So it sounds like the dwarf and the bug the bugbear took the dwarves elsewhere out of the cave. Is the impression I'm getting, no, right? They are, the no, bug the bugbear's bug bug here. here. Yeah, five goblins the, took the dwarves. The leader the of guy. the goblins and five of his minions took him someplace else. Took I still think we should get them. Sildar and get back to the wagon. We're, we're yeah, pretty yeah, much the, out of... If the, if, the dwarves are, if the dwarves are gone, I don't see any reason to stay here. Um, but if they're going to chase us down, then maybe we want to fight in like a narrow area instead of... Out in the woods. Um, I mean, the hall, the way back is a narrow area, so I say we yeah. start making our way back to back to the wagon. Yeah, let's get back to the wagon. Sounds reasonable. I say okay, reverse so order. Let's do Sildar, Sildar, the halfling, the dwarf, then the fighter. Yeah, that sounds fine. Yeah. 
Okay, Sildar raises from the ground and says, um, Okay, lead the way. No, you're going first. You lead the way. He, he grabs one side of him and like starts moving uh, easily. Okay, we, we follow and him and direct him out of the cave. We back lead if we have to. Okay, how how where 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 do you go? I mean, we exit the, the cave. The, Sildar, myself, the dwarf, the fighter. Okay. Um, Basically, the fighter's rear guard. Yeah. So I'm I'm asking you: Do you take the way through here or through no. here? What? Why would we go the way we haven't explored? No, we go back the way we came. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're heading straight for the exit. Is the shortest possible route we know. Okay, you hear scuffling coming from um, the end parts of the cave, and as you exit out here, you see a you see the big bugbear on the um, on the bridge, just about thirty feet from you. How fast is Silbar moving? Uh, half speed. So okay. fifteen feet. Basically. I look at the bugbear. Does he have any missile or thrown weapons on him currently? Or is he throwing missiles or weapons at us? Yeah. Um, there's there's a bitey side. There are about four goblins and a wolf, and he on him he has he seems to only have a melee weapon. He just I pull has up a my bow and star. shoot him. <laughs> okay, I want. Wait, I the want goblins initiative have bows, from all of you. Yeah, yeah, the goblins seem to have those. So I want initiative from all of you as soon as you exit here. I'm gonna say you're on this side. Uh, here, like you passed the river. Twenty-three. So if, if we back up into the God. cave, we'd the be map. totally safe. Hmm. If we backed up into the cave, we'd be totally safe. Yeah, but then we'd be cut off. Yeah. We'd have no escape route. Well, okay, so the, we don't know where those stairs in the cave went. And we don't know where the the fork to the right goes. Right. I I would like to back. You know, if we have to retreat back out the front exit. Because yeah. that way, if okay. things get too dicey, we can just dive in the water, and then the arrows won't be able to hit us. Okay, uh, was, that, was that your initiative, Peter? Yeah, that's that's a five. It's really low. Okay, and fine wake. I roll it. No, you didn't. You, six. You're doing it. Oh, oh yeah. that was your... Okay. D20 minus one. It's at six. Wow. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, so first is Mutton. Mutton, what do you do? Um, My bow out, I shoot at the uh, bugbear. Do I have a surprise? Uh, no, they do see you. Do you want to shoot it? Wait, do you want to shoot at the bugbear? Or do you want to shoot at one of the goblins that has a bow and can shoot back? No, I want to shoot the bugbear. <laughs> um, does he have any cover? Uh, yes, he both all, all of the all of the targets do have half cover. Okay. That means so. Does that mean so? Do we? I guess not. Yeah. Huh? No. No. You don't have half cover because we don't have they half are cover, shooting. But they have half cover. Yeah. They, yeah. They are on the bridge. You're not. They have a railing, I guess, behind. That they're hiding behind. Exactly. It's a solid railing on a bridge in the cave. Yep. Doesn't need a to be solid railing. for half cover. Okay. Um. With that roll. It's only so two they get, they get, Oh my yeah. god! The delays. Okay, my shot is oh, a nine. nine. That's that's a miss. It is a miss. Um, it's uh, Silda's turn right now, and um, he moves back, like down across this side, and uses a dash action to try and, and gets over here. Puts his back against this wall, and says, "Wait, he jumps <laughs> off the bridge? What? No, we, the bridge is a level. Oh, sorry, I thought you said." Sorry, you said Sildar. I thought you were talking about the bugbear for some reason. My bad. No, no. Sildar, Sildar, Sildar gets yeah. and puts his back and says, <coughs> Sorry, I can't help you this fight. This one is yours. What fight? We're and, getting the uh, hell out of here. He, he, I mean, he just uh, sits there and uh, waits for you guys to do anything. Like, that's the extent of where he can move. Um, now it's the goblin's turn. The goblins all notch arrows, and two of them shoot um, at the warrior, and two of them shoot at uh, at mutton shoes because he tries to shoot them. Mutton, bumble mutton, toes. Mutton shoes, bumble There's toes, no shoes. There's no shoes, shoes anywhere in my name. 
don't <laughs> forget it. Forget it. Uh, both right, Missy, Chunky. Warrior, okay. Bumbatoes, you are hit by only one of them, which is only a one point of damage. How do they do one point of damage? Uh, because my dice says one. They get plus two. They but they get plus two to attack. One d six plus two. Yeah. Uh, I, I've been I've been nerfing myself. I have been nerfing. Okay. Yeah. Good. I have on the short doors. I have. Yeah, been that's why I was saying that critical couldn't have been two damage because they get a plus you take two. Take points of damage. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Okay. I I think I nerfed a couple of those shots, but we're okay with that. Okay. So now it's the turn of a black bear. The black bear like roars and says, "I will eat you all, humans." Come, come and get me. And he jumps over the, like, he jumps down. Cool, it's 30 a 30 feet? foot drop. He takes 3 no, no, no. falling damage. 20 feet. He's, he jumps 20 feet into the water. Into the you water. said it was 30 feet above us. You said it was 30 feet above no. us. 20, 20 feet above you. I said 20 feet above you. There was 30 feet from the person in the middle of your yeah. grouping. So 20 if feet you remember. as the crow, 20 feet diagonally, 30 feet straight down. Uh, yep. So he still takes d6 points of falling damage, right? Yes, but he will try and... Uh, I think he just can try... Acrobatics from what I read, something? he can try an acrobatics to um, not take any damage from that. So let's see how that goes. This guy is very cocky. Um, let me just check to be sure under DC because he rolled good, but not excellent 3. The fucking skills over here. Mm. Normal thing. That's why you need the uh, the DM cheat sheet. The DM cheat sheet. Yeah, it's not out yet, unfortunately. We'll make one. We'll make one. Of course, they'll make one. I mean, we can they'll make one. Do. We don't have to wait for them. Yeah. No, I know I read somewhere about falling damage, but I don't see it anywhere. Uh, yeah, 10 feet, 1d6. Every yeah. 10 feet is 6 But he can try book. a... He doesn't have any armor on him, so... You can try acrobatics to reduce it, I think. Yeah, he's trying acrobatics. Okay, uh, I'm going to see he makes it because he did roll a, a 16. Mm. So, he, he, and he falls into water. He doesn't fall into the rock hard surface. Whatever, I'll buy yeah, it. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, sure, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Until we have something better, I'm gonna go with that. And he says, he just comes near you, um, face in face with uh, the warrior who he sees as the biggest threat. And I'm also that's, I think, closest to him. Yeah, and that's the extent of his turn. Uh, now it's your turn, actually, warrior. Go. It's not, I go last. The priest goes before me. Yeah, I go before. Six. Uh, you didn't have six and Peter or five. Oh no, he has a five. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you go first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I guess I will make an attack at the bugbear. Yeah, you can try and do that. Um. Seven. That's a miss. Um, seven. That's wait, the bugbear is in the water though, right? But right next to me, he landed in the water. Moved right. I'm just saying, shouldn't you have like me. advantage on that attack because you have. Like high ground and he's no, he did, in the he water. did move. He did move. He stepped out of the water oh, okay. and closed with me. Okay. And Morant didn't get to do his action. Yeah, that's the extent that's the extent of this turn. And okay. I guess the dwarf is right next to me, right? So I can't exactly move No, I it's it's one him. one one in a line. That's basically how this 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 thing goes. It, it doesn't have any place to stand to in a line. There's nothing cool you can do with your move action, is there? Uh no, not really. You could do a little dance. I do a little dance, and I Make say, get out of here! And okay. That's the end um, of my turn. Then it's turn of Peter. Go, Peter. So you missed horribly? Yeah. You missed horribly. Alright, well, if we're going to gang up on the bugbear, I guess I will gang up on the bugbear. Well, you do need to get into the water if you want to attack him, but you can use your spells. I thought he got out of the water to get next to me, or at least... Wait, is no, he, he, he is like next, next to you. He's next to you, but the dwarf is behind you. So how do you yeah. how do you want to make an attack? Is he still in the water? No, 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 no. He, like, you guys are on the rock, rock oh, okay. pavement. Front so we're front. all in a line. 
Yeah. Yeah, you'll win one, basically. So can, how do you And the bugbear is at the end of the line. I can be next to the warrior and hit him, I think. I, There's not, not without, like, squeezing into space. my space. Oh, is there no room at all? I, guess I mean, if there's no room, if there's no room at all, I'll use a ranged attack. Uh, yeah, use your ranged attack. Okay, so Sacred Flame, see. then it's DC 13, dexterity check. Yeah, he passes. Okay, I'm done. So you're okay. Do you keep uh, moving, or are we just parked where we are? Yeah, well, I'm. you're in front of me, so I assume if you don't move, I can't move. And can Neil move is on the other side. Yeah. Is so, Neil parked there? So I should have been the person closest to Silwick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, 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 so Silwick's yeah. around that corner, hiding by the staircase, right. and, and we're sort of in a line right here. Okay. Exactly. So kind of goes. Um, what's his name? Then you. Then Fine. yeah. Justin. Then bugbear, me. Bugbear. Sign bugbear. Justin. Me. Yeah. Right. And Justin, yeah. you cannot reach the bugbear, right? Nope. No. No. Nope. I can hit him with range attacks, and that's it. Okay. Cool. Uh, my turn. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, your turn. Cool. Go. Can I shoot the bugbear from where I am? Can I shoot? Yes. I don't think there's any use in shooting in melee, though. I don't think they have it out yeah, that yet. Yeah, and I don't know that there's necessarily cover from your allies. It's pretty... Um, because in uh, in previous editions, it was there was a There was minus something about four. firing into melee here. I, I think it's harder. It. I didn't see that. All I saw I is, yeah, if you've got a... If you're... Shooting at someone who's adjacent to you. He's not. Yeah. Oh, that might have been what I was reading feet. then. Um, well, there's no rules about it, so let's just go with it. I mean, he's almost as big. I mean, he is still a medium creature, so as big as him. I'm going to say you can attack him. Cool. Um, all right, I shoot at him. 24. Oh, Ooh, God, if it was shit, one more, it would have been a crit. No crit. See, this, no is, crit. this is why I. I don't like the crit system here. Whatever. Um, I'm going to apply my extra d6 on this. So 2d6 plus 3 to the bugbear. 10? Nah, 10 damage. Uh, you Ow. do 10 points of damage to it. It, it shrieks in, in pain as you shoot it, but it's it's still alive. Okay. Then, bring this uh, buffoon to the floor, men. This is where we wait, TPK. Bring this, to the buff bring this buffoon to the floor, men. You we have, can get him. You have a pretty... You have a pretty good position. Uh, so Sodar uh, will move down from here and like at the entrance of the cave. The and brave warrior is going to keep running. Yeah, exactly. The brave warrior is keep running. And now it's the goblins' turn. The goblins are un undecided on what to do, basically. They haven't been told anything by their reader. Uh, and the wolf is really, like, he isn't going to jump down. So no. he, the wolf, you see like, the wolf darting. Um, and like across the bridge, and the other, like all the other goblins are just shooting at the targets they see. So, again, two on the warrior and two on Justin because he's right behind. Uh, 17 for me, 18 for Justin. Yeah, that's again two misses on you. God damn it, that they see insane AC, but one does hit Justin for. Six points of damage now that it's I'm not there for myself anymore. Okay. Okay, and now it's the bug badge. Let's see what he can do to you. Oh, interesting. What weapon does he have? Uh, he does have a morning star. Probably something big, yeah. Yeah, it's a big morning star. But he's medium creature, so he's not a large creature. Uh, he raises his morning star and tries to attack you. And that's a hit. You take oh, this is a shit ton of damage. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Go yeah, on that's a lot another of one of these. Um. Goodbye, Ryan. We barely. How much is the morning star deal? Two d eight plus two. What? Bullshit. No, not nope. bullshit. I mean bullshit, bullshit. Yes, but bullshit. Um. Well. Morning star deal is d eight. Yeah, One but eight. bugbears have a something something have thing that thing. they yeah, do extra they get, damage. Yeah, they get their an extra damage, but I think you're surviving because you only take eight points of damage. Yeah, I'm at full life, but still, that's ah oh, like shit. That. Uh, where's my Dmx? Dmx, yeah. Dmx, you lowered the damage. Because <laughs> I, I, I know that I voice in the DM. The you only take eight. Oh, you had full life. Oh, okay, cool. I could have upped that damage a little bit. <laughs> I know that tone. I've heard that tone a thousand times. <laughs> Who knows? 
Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Only me. Okay, go on with uh, you attack. Fine. I think I'm up next. next. Exactly. And I hit the bugbear because it's the only thing I can do because my party has me boxed in. You exactly. could dive into the water. You could disengage you could and dive into the water. For, you could beg for mercy. Oh, God. Oh, Fenric. Sh shit, Fenric, shit. It's not nice. Um, then we have, who do you have next? Peter. I mean, the literally the only thing I can do is... Neil sacred. fucked us. I didn't fuck you guys at all. You can't, we can't move. <laughs> I all you gotta say again. is get out of the way and then I can easily sidestep with after my arrow shot. Does he make his DC 13 uh, dexterity save? Let's see. No, he was the one. He takes four radiant damage. He takes four radiant damage. He doesn't seem to be very really affected by this. I mean, he, he takes the damage, but he still yeah. seems to be a up and standing. Um, now let's go to Mutton again. Mutton, what do you do? Come on, Neil, take him down. T20 Come plus on, five. Do it. Do it. 17. That's it. Two and I am adjacent three. to him, so yep. that's an extra d6. Nine. That's a total you, of you shoot, you shoot him in the chest. You shoot him in the chest, and but he's still alive. He's still up. He's not down yet. Yeah. Uh, total of just, a, just maybe just a bit more. Like, he looks bloodied. He throws in him, uh, like the, that divine thingy. It's two arrows. It's not looking a, well. Yeah. Yeah, so the goblins still get another round of shots. Let's, yeah, let's go next. With Does the Neil? Neil, do you at least move at the end of your turn? Yeah, I take a few steps back and a little bit to the sides so that you guys can bypass me if you so desire. Thank you. Okay, great. If we uh, survive the round, <laughs> exactly. Seventeen let's AC, it... save us this time. You could just take an all defense position if you want. It gives them disadvantage on their attack rolls. The um, the wolf appears about here. But that's like the extent of his turn. He's got a cross. And turn. Yeah, exactly. That's like the extent of his turn. He just appears here. Uh, you see him, and the goblins just miss you both. None, none of them, none of their arrows shoot. Statistically, straight. that's what should happen. They get like what plus two to hit at the most. Yeah. yeah. So they should miss seventy-five percent of the time. And bugbear. Now it's the the hour time of the hour. Miss. Miss. Ooh. Miss. Miss. <laughs> Whatever, Ryan, if you die, well, you can just come back as a different fighter. Okay, okay. That's true, we got okay. the other character sheet. He, yeah, you're okay, it's, he rolled a free. Okay. He does get a kind of a... Nah, he doesn't... Yeah, he got a big bonus, but still, he, he misses. Okay. So, That's now it. it's turn of five. Can you make it, Finewick? Can you make it? <laughs> come on. Boom! Boom. There's a hit. Boom! That's a hit. Come on. Come on. Max damage. Rip through and and you, 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 Like the goblins are looking at like, kill him, kill him, whatever name you don't know, he, they're shouting. And they just see like they're really like in the water. <laughs> and a very, very angry human with a battle axe in front of him. Is the water considered difficult terrain? Yeah. I'm going to move forward 30 feet so that I'm under the bridge, directly underneath the goblins. <laughs> okay, that's that's where you are. So we basically Sorry, party, but I'm, I'm looking out for myself. That's fine, that's fine. I can take some aggro for a little while. That's fine. But you have, uh, you, you still have um, free half cover because you moved and said that you are stepping a bit to the side. Yeah. Um, right. so it, oh, it, it's Peter's it's turn, though. Peter's turn. Yeah, it's Peter's turn. So the so wolf Peter. is like... Near us now? Yeah, he is basically on the other side of the river. About but... ten about ten feet from you? Ten fifteen. I'm gonna feet. move up to the wolf and smack it. So you need to go through the water and then raise up there. Can I no, do I'm that? Just telling you... Yeah, you can do that. I'm just telling you what you're doing. Uh, okay, good. Well an eleven. Nope. Not enough okay. for the wolf. <laughs> wolf is not that, that Oh, that not that of I see. Um, so it seems you're basically the only tiger they kind of want. I know it's Martin does anything different to you. So, Martin, go. Okay. Uh, I want to step back. If I if it's within 25 feet, I want to step back so I can kind of be 
in this cave, but then still have an angle. Like I want to have like Three this sort of angle. Cover. You can split up your move, so you can pop out, shoot, pop back in. Well, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Can I just take a shot here and then spend the rest of my turn and move back exactly. behind the cave? Cool. Yep. Um, and Justin's next to the sky, right? Next exactly. to the wolf? Exactly. Yeah. In front of the wolf. 18. It's a hit. Uh, 2d6 plus 3. 13 damage to the wolf. And I think that it's a kill. Let me okay. just make sure when they HP again. How are rogues doing so much damage? Rogue sneak next... attack OP. Yeah, it is It is big. It is big, but considering that you've been very close to dying, all of you. You're rolling high. You're okay. like that. Yep. You're okay. Yeah, yeah, you kill him. Um, he, the wolf the wolf whimpers and dies in, f in front of you, Peter. Okay, now the goblin's turn. So you go back to your cover, and again, the only viable target that they see is, is Peter. So let's see. Let's see if the dice agree with you. We have a natural 20. Oh, God. And an 18. Ah, uh, let's both hit. Uh, I. And let's see, you have double damage and one. Wait, hold on a sec. He's next to the wolf. He's got to have at least partial cover. No, because the wolf was exactly at the mouth of it. So he was so himself. So he's standing in the river. He's still got at least half cover. Yeah. If he's up to his wet waist. Still, and yeah, up he, to his neck and water. Even if, even if he has half cover, uh, what's your waist okay. again? Well, the 18 would miss if I had half cover. Yeah. Yeah, but it has 18 plus 2, like the, the natural wall was oh. 18 plus 2, and the other one is a 20. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, you take 6 points of damage from the crit. Well, you can come back and play as the cleric that you wanted to play as before, or the wizard you wanted to play as before. <laughs> and another 4 points of damage, so a total of 10 points of damage. I'm down. Okay, Don't so drown. you fall unconscious. <laughs> you fall unconscious. I yet out. Fine wick. Um, Go find Rick. I gambled. I thought they would miss and that Neil could be able to kill the wolf. Sorry, the wolf man, is down? Trying. Yeah, the wolf's yeah, dead. The wolf is down. That part works. How do you wage just... dwarf with all of your equipment? Well, they don't have weights I... of the equipment, do they? Uh, no. no. I'm going to say I probably weigh like 110, 150 pounds. <sighs> then you can I carry can... 15, 15 times your strength. Yeah, I can carry 225 pounds. You can carry him out. I don't know how much my weight is. I've got a lot, but I'm going to assume that I can move the dwarf. So I'm going to okay. sweep in. I'm going to move the the wolf's gone, right? Yeah, the wolf is gone. So I'm going to move across the river to there, grabbing the dwarf's hand as I go and dragging him out of the river and into that hallway. Okay, you and can I will do that. So I'll move and move and end my turn fully covered in that hallway with the unconscious dwarf next to me. Okay. And uh, um, is that only one move action? Do I have an action on top of that? Or do I need to use, like, uh, no no I think it, I think it's an action to pick him up. So you, you pick him up and yeah. then you like, basically split up your move. You go there, pick him up, go again. Okay. Alright. So now okay. roll your death save. Exactly. Justin. Uh do I roll it now or on my turn? It is your oh, turn. No, it's your turn. It oh it is my turn. turn. You're right. Yeah, so it's a D for those of you watching at home, it's a D twenty and if he rolls That's a fail. A ten or it's above a it's a success. Below a okay. 10 is fail. And he needs to either make three successes to stabilize, or, stabilize. or three failures and he dies. And a 1 counts as two failures, and a 20, he automatically gets back to his feet at 1 HP. Yeah. Interesting exactly. system. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, they took, I think they took this from 4th. This is one of the things they took from 4th. Yeah. It's very similar to that one. Okay, let's continue on with Mutton. Mutton, what do you do? I poke my head out from my little um, hidey hole. And if I can still see any goblins, like if there's enough light to illuminate the goblins, I would like to fire at one of them. I'm going to say that you can fire at one of them, yeah. Cool. Um, mm -hmm. 13? That's uh, not a hit. Okay. Uh, and I will shout out, are you guys okay? As I duck back into my little cavey hole, hidey okay. hole thingy. Goblins go, but they should have no targets. They should have exactly no targets. So they use hip issues crumbling. Can move whoever you want them to move, but it's our turn. Yeah. Yep. Right, it's your my turn. turn. Um, what is the DC on a medicine check to stabilize? Ten. DC ten wisdom 10? check. Yeah. Ten. 
it's pretty simple. Right. But if you fail, you do. Uh, I think you cause him another failure. Really? I think so. If you do fail it, it doesn't make say that it the worse. All that I'm seeing is just the description where you. Okay, then just just, just go with go go with it. Go with it. Just go with it. Oops, that was Skype, not the. <laughs> <laughs> 19. So I 19, that's okay. Justin. You stabilize Justin. And then I want to peek oh. around this corner here and see if I see any goblins coming. Uh, what corner? The corner I pinged. Uh, this yeah, here. yeah, you see you see goblins coming. Moving. Right. They're not yet there, but they're like halfway. So I'll wait on this corner. end of the corner with my axe. Okay, um, well... So out of their sight. Yeah. So now it's Peter's turn, turn, so though he doesn't need to oh, yeah, roll Peter's anything. Turn. But uh, you do roll a one d twenty because if you roll a twenty, you do. I think you come back. I don't yeah, know. Is, yeah. with... is he already? Really? No, if I you're stabilized, you roll. I don't. I mean, twenty. I'm... You, if you roll a twenty on your death saves, you just get two passes. No, if you mm. roll a twenty, you could just come no, back no, up. No, if you roll a twenty, come back at one. Yeah. It says you. Do, it really? says you don't make death save. I mean. Do we want to say that we can still make them, and if we fail, it's still a failure? But it's it's it, it, no. It, it means like if you fail, you do, you stabilize, you don't bleed out, but you still might have a chance to raise up because it's. I mean, you're okay, still I mean, in that condition. It's gonna. It's like, gonna that's my five, logic. It's a five percent chance of coming back into the fight, so I don't mind. I just don't think it's the actual. Rule. So yeah, I'm 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 thinking that's okay for now. So just go it. It's if you are twenty, yeah. All right. <laughs> It says that a stable creature doesn't make death saving throws. Right. Even yeah. though it has zero mm. HP. Yeah. He remains unconscious. Yeah. Just remains unconscious, that kind of. I'm still unconscious. Yeah. It's the important He's thing. He's unconscious yeah. until we let him rest de four hours. Uh, okay, then let's go on with uh, the goblins. Good job move. You have your ready action. So as soon as the goblin appears. So Wait, don't I go back. after Peter? Who has a ready goblins? action? I mean, you, oh, so yeah, you go, you go after Peter. You have, you said when you, you wait with your axe. But I didn't have an action to ready. I used it on the medicine check. Yeah, he's just standing there. Yeah. Oh yeah, you just, uh, yeah, I just understood that. And it's, uh, it's Neil's turn. Yeah. Also, it's Neil's turn. Yeah. My turn. Um, I peek my head out again. Do I see any goblin scum on the bridge? No. Nope. No. No. Nope. Okay. Then I want to move 25 until I'm up here, um, where I can okay. see the party. And then I want to ready a bow shot if anything comes into rain. If any goblins show up at all anywhere, I want to smite. Okay. So, as I said before, goblins you do appear into range. So, poof, you do your ready action. And I am within so, five feet, so they will. So you get advantage. Yeah. Or no, you attack. get advantage. You get your sneak attack. You get your 1d6. Nope, natural one. Natural one. Miss. Yes. Uh, now it's the goblin's turn. Did only two of them can attack you at the same time because um, because of the halfway. space they have there. Yeah. So two of them do attack you. Do they? Are they attacking with AC missile 17. weapons? Range. They are or sorry, melee. Their melee. So that means they weapons. physically drop their missile weapons to be able to draw their melee weapons. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. If you can disengage, they won't be able to fire on you that round, next round. Yeah. None of them, none of them hit but you. I'm not going to leave the dwarf. Two, Just kick him into the, the water. Other, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other two goblins are just um, readying actions. Oh, you know what? So, okay, yeah, we well, can't even see the other goblins. Yeah. We right? should hurry this up corner? because we need to take a break. They are around the corner. Oh, yeah. you need to take the break. Yeah, I oh, mean, okay. we'll, we can finish this up. Let's hurry up the TPK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's I think we're pretty close. You guys managed to kill this, so not. Right. Yeah, if, we, could we have four this. goblins left. If we can kill the four goblins, yeah. I think that clears the cave. I thought All there right. were three left. Four. No, four goblins. Four? The bugbear and the wolf. You killed the wolf and the bugbear. Thirteen. That's one thirteen. Five. It's is not, this? not, no, not enough. This isn't. This isn't like second edition where you can dig up and dig up additional bonuses all over the place. No, uh, mutton. You do go. Okay. Um, I'm actually. Um, oh, I'd have to. Yeah, I'd have to disengage or book opportunities. So I yeah, guess you we'll need. Stay a, yeah. Is there any space beside Fenric that I can stand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I it, want it, to it, leap but, across the water with my weapons drawn and leap into battle, attacking the guy beside Fenric. So good. you're dropping your nope. bow? Good yeah, I drop my bow on the other side. 
20. 20. Go, go to your attack. So, first attack. First attack, 2 damage. 6 plus 3. 13 damage to the first one with the short sword. You just tap him through the height. Right through. Turn my scimitar on the other one. Okay. And hit. Ooh. Do it. Damn it. If that was too high. Oh, God, I want to crit. Um, there's no other Come way on. to improve my damage, though. It's just going to be a flat D6. Nope. Yeah. I got... You don't get your strength? No, not on offhand. No. Really? Okay. Yeah. And I don't have advantage on this guy in any way, shape, or form. I'm within five feet of him, but no. But that's no, not, yeah, it's not really advantage. Okay. okay. Six damage to this goblin. Six damage. This goblin is almost down. He's very close. So do they not roll HP in this? They just have their flat seven or whatever it is? Uh, I gave them the flat seven, so I don't need to roll for each of them. Yeah, That's, that's what I did. It's, we can. I mean, this is very like close, so I. That's fine. I no, will. I, I will keep... roll for it. No, I will roll for these three left because it's a very tense situation. So let's see what happens. This could go against you. That's why I did the yeah. as well. It can't go against. It's d8 minus one. No, no, no. It's two d6 for goblins. Two d6 for goblins. Yeah. So oh wow. Yeah, they it changed it up a lot. Can go against you. So this guy is actually not dead. He still okay. has some HP. The one that I did 13 um, to? No, the no, one no, that no. you did. No, 13 said the so did six oh, okay, I was going to say, 13 as well beyond 2d6. Okay, and yeah. So I mean, it's the goblin's okay. turn again? Alright, the goblin's uh, turn. Are they yeah. around the corner? Uh, yeah, so there's the, one spot one. in front of me. Does the goblin step in to fill his place? Exactly. One of, one Come of them at me, you ugly bastards! One attack you, and one attacks Mutton. Mutton. AC 17. Uh, you misses and 16 against AC on Mutton. 14. That's a hit. Okay. So hits. Let's see what happens. Three points of damage. Three points of damage. Okay. I am Ooh. still up and kicking. Ah. So now it's time of. Peter is still down, so time of Mutton. Boom! The time... No, it's my turn. Oh, the time of. There's all Fenwick, yeah? Fenric. Forgot about 22. Fenwick. Fenwick. Go. Go. Um, the, I'm striking the fresh one that just yeah. popped in. Oh. Ouch. Six damage. You roll his HP, you, though. <laughs> you you killed him. Yeah, you killed this guy. Okay. Do you yeah, get a plus this, five this. to damage? Yep, plus yeah. three yeah. for strength and plus yeah, and two for uh, proficiency. You're so yeah, beefy. Exactly. Beefy warriors, beefy. <laughs> okay, uh, now it's your turn, Martin. Wait, you rolled... Finish him. Your great axe only has plus three damage. It's plus five, yeah, plus proficiency. three for strength, and plus two for proficiency. Yeah. Okay, it's just, it's calculated on the character sheet as plus three. It's calculated on the character sheet as plus five. Yeah. The character sheet says plus Oh five. no, you're right. You're absolutely oh I'm totally wrong. Yeah, your attack bonus is plus right. five to yeah. hit plus three There's to damage. No proficiency bonus on damage. Yeah. So oh. the guy's still alive. That was only four damage. Or maybe he's not still alive, but No, he's still alive. He's still alive. Oh by that. Okay. Do -do -do. okay. Thank well, you, Cash, Neil. Thanks for killing if, us. Hey, whatever. Thanks for killing us. If Neil okay, hits either one Neil. of them, one of them's gonna die. Okay. Should be fine. I attack uh the one that uh I attacked previously. No. The one in front of Ryan with this attack. Mm -hmm. 15. 15 against Goblin AC. That is a hit. Okay, I'm not going to use my sneak attack on him. Um, so that's just D6 plus 3 against this guy. 6 damage. Okay, this guy, this guy goes down. And then D20 plus 3 against the one that's next to me. Oh, fucking hell. That's a miss. That's a miss. Okay. So we're down right. to two goblins left. Two goblins. It is there two turn. on two. Goblin, yeah. You guys can do this. And I, I growl menacingly again and say, we've Shit. killed every last one of you in this cave. What makes you think you're different? And then the, one of these guys seems like to be bigger than the others. And he, he's a bit big beefier than the others you've just killed. And he walks in front in front of you, Martin, and attacks you. And the other one attacks um, Ryan. I, I killed the one that was standing in front of Ryan. Uh, so yeah, but steps. there's. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, two of them left. One yeah, yeah but he would. He'd have to stand in front of Ryan. I'm not saying he can't attack yeah. me, but he's he's standing yeah. in front. Of That's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. Two and a two and a five. You guys are you're okay for this round? Let's see what you do. Go find him. By the skin in our teeth. 
Eleven. You're not going to do it. Not, not going to do it. Okay. Um, Go, how badly beaten does the halfling look? The halfling. How do you look, halfling? Actually, I can't just. I I, can't I, I, I look like I've seen better days. <laughs> I'll stay engaged. Okay. I can't because it takes an action to disengage. Otherwise, you yeah. can. Can you move at all without taking attacks? No, you no, can't. Uh, no, you need you need to use an action and uh, disengage, right. and then you can. So move. halfling, go make your two attacks. Okay. Uh, first Finish attack against both. the the bigger one that's standing in front of uh, Fenric. That's a miss. And second yeah. one against the one that I was fighting earlier. Do it. Twenty. That's a hit. That's a hit. Six. Use your sneak attack. Yeah. Yeah. Ten damage to the other one. And that's dead. Now one it's left. just a big one. And I again growl and glare at him and say really you still want more do me an intimidate check i want to see and see how this goes <laughs> towards him how intimidating he feels about the half wink yeah intimidating as shit you're more intimidating than i am <laughs> she seems to be you seem to be intimidating as shit but he resists you uh successfully he, seems, he doesn't seem to be scared of you. And he drops a hit on Heinrich. Fenric. Heinrich. Fenric. And that's a 19. 17. It's, Damn it. That's a hit. This could be it. Shit. This could be it. I'll, dude, I'll res could. you. Don't worry. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, if you die, I'll, I'll go find a cleric. I'm down. I'm down. Okay. Um, now it's Heinrich's turn. Heinrich's turn to do a save. Yeah, third twenty. Save come on, time. come on, Ryan. Do a, do a twenty and get it back up. <laughs> oh, that would be pretty awesome. That would be yeah, nice. But it's a pass. Okay, but you do pass. You have one pass. Okay. And now, Mutton, everything is on you. Everything's on you. Can you do it? <sighs> one away from a critical. It's good. It's good. Oh, the system. Uh, D six plus three. Six to this guy. Pretty good. He's he's still alive. He's still alive. And then second attack is a twenty. Come on, four damage. That's four damage. <laughs> <laughs> down, Woo! down. Woo! You killed him. Killed right. him. Ugh! I immediately drop to the ground and Fenric, my dear oh, friend Fenric. I, and I stand up <laughs> immediately. Fenric <laughs> is fine. Oh. What are you guys talking okay. about? Oh, you're I'm fine. Ready. I'm ready. Were you really just <laughs> bitching out and letting me finish that battle? Did you, did you fake a heart attack, Fenric? <laughs> I, what would your father say? <laughs> That's embarrassing. I'm half your size and you let me finish him off? I wanted you to get the glory, my little friend. You did well. You did well. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good All right. Job. All right, guys. We're going to take a break and we're going to take a slightly longer break than normal. I have to go run some errands real quick. Like, uh, We'll be back in like six or seven minutes instead of three or four. And we'll Ooh, see what happens next. Battle. See you then. Bye-bye.